Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Plays. It's time for some more Manhunt checkpoints and we've been messing around with the rules a bit so things are a little bit different and um, hopefully it will be, um, this, will be, this will make things a bit more interesting, a bit more fun and a bit more balanced if we're, if we're really lucky. So what we've done this time is instead of having the uh, the race position indicators like we used to that tell you that tell the um, hunters how how many people are closer to the uh, the checkpoint than them, we've gone for a system instead that tells them how approximately how far away the prey is. And so it's, it's down set in sort of in bands, so they they'll know whether I'm within 100 meters, within 100 to 200 meters, 200 to 300, and so on. And this has a few sort of effects. One of them that gives the hunters a bit of an advantage or it makes it a bit easier for the hunters is that they no longer have to worry about the position of everyone else um, in on the, all of the other hunters so sometimes you get you get the thing where the hunters all head out and they try and they try and judge how far away I am by um, by driving out until their position indicator changes but sometimes if they're not communicating very well they don't do that particularly brilliantly and <clears throat> and they end up sort of swapping positions with each other and they're tracking each other while I get closer or further away and it all gets a bit confusing so, not having to worry about that is going to be a little bit of an advantage for them, and it's going to make their communications a bit easier. But on the flip side, one of the things I didn't like about that system was it meant when the hunter dri when a hunter drives their car past me, they um, get their their position indicator immediately changes, and they so they know that, or they get very very suspicious of the car they've just passed. Now, it's not a guarantee that it's going to be me, but it does it does look very suspicious, and that I feel like it gives me away an awful lot. So what we're trying is something a bit different, works somewhat differently, and we'll hopefully add that little bit of extra sort of fuzzing to it to make to make it a little bit harder for. Them. Another thing we've added in is my brake lights actually come on now when the cars uh, cars stopped, and um, that isn't me doing the um, the weird thing where you hold down the accelerator and the brake at exactly the right amount at the same time to make them come on. No, instead this is just. Whenever the car is stopped, the brake lights automatically come on. So that's going to be another thing that just helps the car blend in with traffic. You can't really see very well because it's daytime, but the brake lights on all of the other cars around me are on when they're stopped, so it's a thing that's rather difficult to do. About the only other thing I need now is indicators, because that's one thing we haven't managed to implement yet. I don't believe there's any way to make a player car use indicators in GTA. But you never know, we might manage that later. It's just another thing to have to worry about, though, for, me, for the driver. Uh, Another thing that might make this run a lot easier for me, ooh, there's one of the hunters up there in that purple car at the uh, the next junction, um, is that there's actually only two hunters today, which is a bit of a shame. It's it's fewer than we ideally like to have. So we feel it's not really, well, it's, I, I don't feel that two, yeah, we, do, we, we reckon that three is the, is the absolute minimum. So we are very, very short staffed today. Um, so, if you're interested in, uh, in joining in and you've got a copy of GTA 5 on the PC, um, <laughs> drop me a message in the comments and we'll see what we can do. Um, but at the moment, yeah, only two hunters means they're going to struggle a little bit. Um, we had one practice run earlier where they actually did manage to find me quite quickly, which is a little bit alarming, um, <laughs> even though there's only two of them. <clears throat> so we shall, we shall have to see how it goes. At the moment, I don't know, he's... Looking around and just... Well, I don't know, I'm... When he sits there next to my car like that, I get kind of paranoid. Okay, he's stopping somebody else. And... Doing goodness knows what with them. But that wasn't a great stop. I'm not quite as close... To, actually, I'm probably close enough to the line. The AIs do, do often stop at this sort of distance. But... Right, he's definitely suspicious of this area. I don't, I don't like this. On his own. Ooh, who's he suspicious of? Is it me or is he just? What's he doing? Oh, this is phenomenal. I don't like this. Maybe, maybe he just got out in the hope that it would make me panic if I was nearby. Because I often do. I, my, my sort of rule of thumb in inverted commas is that if a, if a hunter gets out of their car, then it's just not safe to be around because they can shoot me in instantly and then I'm doomed. But I managed to hold my nerve that time, so... hes I feel like he's probably suspicious of cars in his area, so I'm trying to drive well. 
Okay, I think he's probably sus too suspicious of me now. I'm going to make a run for the checkpoint. I'm going to grab that on the way through. And call it good. <laughs> there we go. That's one checkpoint. And I am, of course, now probably in a chase. Although, he seems to be a fair distance back, which is interesting. Whoa, big two-wheel moment. That was... That might has cost me a significant amount of time. Nope. Uh, right, so now he's aware. Of, yeah, he knows, he's obvi obviously now knows exactly which car I'm in. However, I've managed to pull a bit of a lead on him now, so maybe I can get away. Um, so far, so good. Uh, let's cross over this bridge and head off southwards. I don't know where the next. Oh, I'm heading towards the next checkpoint. That's convenient. Oh, and I've crashed. <laughs> Those benches are tougher than they look. Oh, he's caught up with me as well. That's unfortunate. Duck, duck, duck. Don't shoot my tyres, don't shoot my tyres. I don't hear any tyre noises. I think I might be okay. My car is a bit wrecked though. Oh, and my mic has disconnected. That's going to make it even harder for uh, them to catch me. If there's, only, if there's only one hunter, I'd say they're probably doomed at this point. But I am going to try and just get away from here and see if I can escape the traditional way. Ooh. I've also not played for about two weeks, so it's almost like I've forgotten how. Let's have a car switch, because that one's looking a bit more battered than I would like. Oh, no, it's not broken. Right there. Now, the other... The other problem I'm going to have now, apart from having a broken window on my car, is that Tristan has now seen my character model, <clears throat> so he knows what I look like. That's going to make it a bit easier for him. I'm going to wait for Mike to rejoin the uh, server. Um, before I take the next checkpoint. So there is at least two hunters around. Because trying to take tr trying to take the checkpoints when there's only one, one hunter in the game just seems a bit cheap and a bit too... Bit too easy for me. There we go. He's starting to connect again. Uh, I shall sit in traffic. That's fine. I'm very close to that car in front of me. I didn't actually hit it though. In my uh, defence, is this a this is a coupe? Okay, good. I can I can use this car. Then. What is going on with all these cars around me? I feel like I'm being bullied by hunters, except none of them are actually hunters. This is all down to the. Um, the thing I've, I've complained about this before that um, GTA 5 has this thing where um, the AI get confused by player cars that are stopped, so they start to tr try and drive around you even when you're waiting in a queue for traffic lights or something, which is <coughs> quite annoying because it makes it makes you stand out a bit. Well done. Go! It's a green light. They also have this terrible habit of sitting at green light, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes they'll sit at a green light for absolutely ages, and not going anywhere. Um, and then as, when the light's about to go red, then they'll go. That, and that's really annoying when they do that. <laughs> Try to get more. Um, there we go, Mike's back in the game now, so I can start thinking about... I'll, I'll head slowly over to the checkpoint, because I don't want to um, try and rush it before he's ready. So we'll go up into the hills a little bit. Head along that way. Get round to that, that way. He's attempting to use commands to change his appearance. Well, I mean, that's that's fair enough. I don't really mind him doing that because he's a hunter. He can he can look like whatever he wants. As long as he's in a brightly coloured coupe, it doesn't really matter. Let's get round there. That's a very sharp corner. Right, it's time to start. Now it's time, I think, I can start, I can start thinking about the approach to the next checkpoint. Um, and because I'm in the hills, I'm going to be a little bit brave and go a little bit faster because I don't think they're going to be up here. I mean, you never can tell, but I think it's probably safe to be a little bit more. move a little bit more quickly. Now, the other thing that's um, mildly interesting about, about this is I don't get any feedback on where they are. So they've got the little bit of information about where I am, it tells them. I'm um, a certain distance away, and so they, if, if they see that changing very, very quickly, then maybe they'll assume that I'm on um, on the highway or something like that, for example. But I don't have any information at all about where they are, so I'm just sort of heading over in about the right direction, trying to get over there without being spotted. 
Now I'm moving reasonably quickly. So I don't know what they're going to make of this. Whether they'll think this is high. This isn't highway speeds. So I don't think they'll assume I'm on the, down on the highway. But I am going quicker than you do on normal on normal city streets. So maybe that's going to give me away. Maybe that's going to make me suspicious and make me think I'm coming in from this direction. I don't know. Or the fact that I'm now starting moving away again. Oh, so many things to think about. <laughs> right. Okay, so I'm going to come down here. Turn right, and then oh, I'm still in a car with a broken window. Never mind. Let's. Will you? Will um? If they catch me because of that, I'll say it was because I was uh, giving them a little bit of a chance, should we say? <laughs> because there's only two of them. I didn't want to be too hit, too too hidden. But yeah, there's um. It's it's not too obviously broken. There, I mean, you you can see the jagged glass around the edge of it, but unless they get close and look up, look at the car closely, they're probably not going to notice that. And Tristan has seen my character model now, so if he if he does look at my car, I'm probably not going to get away with just sort of sitting still and trying to look innocent. So if he comes up this way and starts peering at cars, I'm probably going to have to go for it. Why did that car go? That was a red light. That's weird. I'm not used to the AIs running red lights, although apparently it happened. Um, is that a purple car coming towards me up there? No, it's not. Okay, I'm going to run this light as well then, because I want to get up there and get get through the checkpoint. So another thing I reckon I do... I'm not going to say wrong sometimes, Damn! but something that I feel is a little bit suspicious. Um, no, not suspicious, but makes things harder for me. What was that? <laughs> something exploded. There's... The tr I have no idea what that was. Oop, that's probably Mike, though. Go away. Go away. What's he suspicious of? It's not me, so I'm okay. Right, I'm going to keep going this way. <laughs> Sorry, I went completely quiet then because I was concentrating so hard on trying to work out what he was doing. Um, they seem to be picking on an AI over there, though, so that's, um, that's okay. It's, it's nothing to do with me. La 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 la. Innocent, innocent, innocent. Don't pay any attention to me. That, is that one? That, no, it's not one of them following me. That's just some sort of big off-road type thing. Oh boy. Okay. Oh no! Wait a minute. <laughs> oh no! no. <laughs> that was such a stupid ending. The golf club is. It's a convenient way of measuring things. This car turned right when it wasn't in the right turn lane. Whereabouts are you? Uh, movie studios. No, I'm in the wrong uh, area. Don't worry. Can't be him. Mm, okay. Damn AI not following the traffic laws. They do that a lot more in 5M than they do in online. At this point, I'd like to take the opportunity to say hello to the viewers who have got Tristan on their screen looking like a lemon for not realising that was Lawrence. Okay, 200 metres away. So he's on the road outside golf course. Which side are you? Uh, west. I'm, I'm not on the road round. I'm just going to scout the north side, because I'm suspicious. I wonder if he's coming around the top end of golf course? It's plausible. Be the sort of tactical thing he'd like to do. Yeah. He likes to try sneakinesses. Okay, he's... If he's one of these cars, he's being very calm about it, because I just got out and bandaged a shotgun and he didn't. No one reacted. Is it green? Yes, it is. I found are. an oracle. <laughs> I'm just going to kill it on this. I mean, it's not not him, but prudence dictates. 
Okay, I think I'm near you because I just saw a bunch of pedestrians running away. Yeah, there's another oracle here. Oh no, I'm gonna run out of bullets. I know you give me infinite ammo, but that's how many of them there are. Ooh, okay, no, it's, too, it's far too far out. Where else? Uh, heading to the checkpoint now. Okay, on my way. Just gone through it. See, in case I just saw you? Yes, he's taken it. Uh, Life yep. Invader, turned right. White, uh, ah, uh, he's doing corners. <laughs> uh, heading east from movie studios, I think that is. Oh, my game just crashed. Oh, that's unhelpful. Yep. I can rejoin in progress, that's fine. I just emptied a bunch of shotgun shells into him because I, I managed to shoot him, but I wasn't going to keep up with him. No, he's still alive. Okay, fine. I, I've lost he's, him now. He's got away. No, he's, he's getting quite close now. He's within 200 meters. I go south. It's his favourite direction. But I'm just going to linger quite far out. Don't think he's coming from east. I'll head north. Okay. He's very, very close now. Yeah. This car started about 500 miles away from the line. It's not him. Uh, this car is very jankily parked. Oh, there's two here that could be him. Ah, oh, no weapons! Ah, uh, uh, red car. Yep. Not him. The other car, there was another car next to him, a black one. Went this way or went south? I, I can't remember. I was too busy trying to work out to spell weapons. I think that's a loss. Yeah. Found him. Wait a minute. Whereabouts? Oh, Getting out of his car in front of me. Uh, let's go where? That was such a stupid ending. Yeah. I saw it. I saw a car come round the car behind, and um, <coughs> and um, went, "Oh no, is that you?" And no, it wasn't. And then I thought, "Right, it's time to change vehicles." And then you appeared as if I was by magic. <laughs> that was annoying. What, was was that you that I was stopped next to, and then picked the wrong one to challenge? Yes. Ah, oh, I knew it. <laughs>